Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning, uh, early in the morning. About to get up. Well, I'm already up. Let me take that back. But, you know, I'm already dressed, ready to go. About to go to Walmart, grab a few things, then go to the hospital. And I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, again, I was expressed not to explain what's going on. Perhaps I will at a later date, but I promised somebody I would not explain what's going on. So, um, just continue to keep us in your prayers. That's all I can ask. And um, today is Sumo, Sumo Deadlift Day. I'm going to try to hit that five again. I've only done it one time. That was months ago. I'm going to try to do it again. Hopefully, I can make it happen. And, um, yeah, that's going to be the day. So take y'all with me. I'm going to try to find somewhere good to eat and show y'all that too as well. So it should be a good day. Um, so let's get it. All right. So over here going to Walmart again, like I said, um, I just want to tell y'all, tell you guys something real quick. No, and hopefully, you know, maybe it will help out one person. But um, as I have gone through my life, there's something that I had to learn. I'm learning, still learning now. And um, I think I'm going to quote this myself. Um, if you learn to embrace your fails, Love your fails, love the pain of trying to do something, love the process of trying to do something, then that's where success and growth will come. Uh, and I've learned that through my years. You know, no, I'm not the most successful person in the world. You know, I don't have a lot of material things here. I'm walking to the store. So, but there are times where I have been successful and there are times that I have failed and that's going to continue to happen in life. Life is fails and successes. It's about not giving up. But if you love, if you go to love that process, love the grind, respect your grind, respect the grind, I believe growth will come and you will be ultimately successful. I already said before, success has no age. There is no age on success. There's people that I know that have been successful in their late 50s, in their late 60s. You gotta see these people, these older generation that's going to school. There's a guy I know right now, 67, going to school, about to graduate his degree. It took him 67 years to get a college degree. So, success has no limit. There's no age limit. As long as you keep pushing, keep striving, and you love the failed successes, growth and success will come. Well, let me take it back. You love the fail, success will come. White monsters on deck.
11. Oh, thank heaven. The bad section. Let's see. I'm in the bad. Uh, fuck it, man. Where I'm going, Chipotle, baby. Yes, sir. Let's get oh, yeah. Can I get a little more white rice on there? Yeah, thank you. And, uh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yes, yes ma'am, please. Thank you. A little bit of mild. No sour cream. A little bit of, a little bit of uh, hot. Hot sauce. Uh -huh, and a lot of corn. <coughs> Good morning, guys. So as you see, I have gotten myself sick. Sunday, October thirtieth. Um, I've got myself sick, so yeah, I've caught the cold. This is usually the time I catch the cold anyway, so I'm not surprised this has happened, but, you know, I, you gotta train around sickness, man, no matter what, so the training doesn't stop. Give you some medicine, take some vitamin C's, and the show goes on. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating for breakfast this morning. I got delts and triceps with the Ravens. He will be with me today, and it should be a good day. So, I'm gonna show you guys. Pop one of these babies in. Uh, I haven't got any cold medicine. I'm gonna get that later on today or tomorrow. But I'm gonna pop me a vitamin C. Sorry about that. A vitamin C right now, and I'm gonna show you guys. Mm. What I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Look, man, sometimes you gotta treat yourself, man. So I'm gonna have me a steak. Man. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna cook both of these. I'm gonna take one with me for tomorrow. All right, my people, I'm about to head on out to this motherfucking gym, get these motherfucking delts and arms trained. My boy is going to meet me there when I get there, and I will see you guys there. So, let's kill it. Abs. Who the fuck does abs? Huh? Who the fuck does abs? Nigga, I ain't get no abs in months. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, what is good? Wanted to do a video commentary because I haven't done one in a long time and I kind of like doing these. So I want to give y'all more of these videos, uh, video commentaries to cover my workouts. This time we did shoulders. So as you see, we started off with a Smith machine seated OHP. A lot of people disassembled the Smith machine for I don't know what reason. Smith machine has its place. That's why it's in the gym. Uh, I used to dis Smith machine a long time ago, but now as I got in, as I'm up there in age, the Smith machine is now a benefit to me, and it will be used quite often. You are forced to use the form, which is something that I'm going to be doing now for the rest of my cut, dropping the fucking weight, putting the ego to the side. <coughs> Sorry, guys, still sick, and focus more on the form. 
So that is going to be the theme for the rest of this year, for the rest of my cuts. So you won't see me doing the heavy weights anymore. I'm going to drop the ego and focus strictly on the form. And doing that has also helped me. As you see, I got a little bit more cut up here in the chest and the shoulders. And that's because I dropped the weight and focused on the form. So anyways, we didn't push much weight up there. Just concentrating, getting the full extension uh on the ohp to get our muscles warmed up to get a contraction d ha does have bad shoulders so he's kind of limited to what he can do the next thing we did was a standing overhead behind the neck press uh i guess a french press as they call it and i have to shout out to mike rasheed um the iron attic for showing you no know, for showing me this on this video I liked it. I thought it looked savage than doing the standard OHP. So I'm going to start incorporating this into my routine as well. Um, felt really good. I felt oh, I felt a burn like no other. And the Ramus liked it too. He thought it was pretty cool. So this would definitely be in the rotation. I was scared to do the 45 pounds, but I got it with no problem. I was shocked because I haven't done these ever. The next thing we did was the machine press. And here we was going for 20 reps or better. Like I told you guys before, it is all about reps now. Reps and form. That's it. Drop the weight. Get the form down. Get the reps down. Put constant tension in the muscle. That's my theme now. No longer trying to lift the heaviest. I don't care about people's bench or how much they can lift. I don't give a fuck. I'm doing me. I'm trying to look good, especially now that I am single. So I'm trying to look good for me and nobody else. I don't give a damn how much you lift. Anyway, 20 or better. We did four sets of this. Everything had to be 20 or better. So no, if we was not, if he wasn't doing 20 like D, one set he didn't get 20, his ass couldn't get up till he got done. Next thing we did was the standing cable rear delt fly. Uh, something I used to do back in the day when I first started lifting here. We were squeezing and contracting the muscle. Like I said, we only had like 10, 15 pounds each side. Theme, again, drop the weight, squeeze the muscle, get the form down, and squeeze the fucking muscle. That was the overall theme of this. Um, then the last thing we did... Which was it was a short session. Actually, we did something this before that. We did a we did a little side lateral machines with the old, with the plates, but my phone died. Couldn't get that. But anyway, the last thing we did was some the Raymond thought of a little finisher. So basically, we had seven sets of fifteen. We had to do side lateral cables, and it was back to back to back to back to back. No rest. As soon as we got doing one side, we got the other side. We had to do seven sets, so fourteen times basically and then we had a minute rest and then we had to do the fronts so we had to do the fronts the exact same way so all in all it was 28 sets back to back to back to back to back it was fucking taxing on my shoulders and i loved it to death so that was the workout appreciate y'all stay tuned for my motherfucking steak i'm out all right guys so i have made it back home from the gym uh pretty good delt day kind of started off slow because i told y'all this morning or in the early video i was sick or i am sick caught down with a little cold so started kind of slow but it picked back up very nicely so uh back home show y'all that steak that I, the steak that I cut up that I marinated earlier, and the potatoes that I've already cut up. I'm gonna show y'all that right now, as it's being cooked. Yes, guys, my potatoes and my steak. Yes, I put my potatoes in raw. I'm gonna marinate. I'm gonna put some seasoning on them. Phone's gonna die. So I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. I will show y'all the end product when it's done. Steak and my potatoes that I got here. Roast it up. I'm not gonna put a, uh, anything on there. I like eating my potatoes like that. And then I got the diet killer. 
a cherry coke zero so this is my dinner for tonight watching that wrestling as i told you about i'm going to actually uh conclude the video here uh hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment share and subscribe college life episode 22 starts tomorrow um got some things got some good things coming up for that one as well uh thank y'all for the support god bless and enjoy y'all rest of y'all weekend i'm out peace the dream you have to sleep the dream you have to dream the dream you gotta touch you have to see it when nobody else sees it